for many of us who decided to specialize in palliative care, um, a lot of us started off with a primary care mindset. And so I think that there are many primary care providers and frontline providers out there who see this uh, work as an essential part of what they do for their patients. And it is an essential part of what they do for their patients. But the problem is that we do not do as good a job as we should at training people in palliative care. And our systems are not as well designed to accommodate um, really spending the time that it takes to address the needs of patients with serious illness. In addition to transforming the experience that people with illness uh, experience um, receiving service, it's just as important, maybe even more important, that we transform the experience around those of us that are inspired and have always been inspired to care for people. As we're growing and scaling across the country, uh, every community we go into, there's always a few superstar folks who have done palliative care for a long time and who are just fantastic and we're lucky when we can get them on our team. Uh, but as we grow in a community, we find there's really not enough folks to do the work. And so we've had to learn about how do you recruit in folks who have the right compassion, the right empathy, but really need a lot of training around their skill set. And so I think that training's a huge piece. We actually wanted to show um, a team-based model working in palliative of care, primary palliative care, um, and show how that actually works in vivo with a patient. So in our work, we actually have the clinician doing a didactic teaching. Then we show the clinician with the patient using the techniques that were actually taught in the didactic, and then the participants of the course get to actually comment on what they saw the clinician do, and then we actually have an opportunity for the participant to talk to the clinician by video, Skype, or discussion board about what they did. So it's really about sort of this applied knowledge of palliative care to really make sure that it's working. Because even if you have like advanced care planning, conversations reimbursed, or you have all these things that are there in the system, we have to really be able to be sure that these people are doing palliative care um, the best way possible. I'm thinking it's so important to reach out to um, the community clinics, to the primary care, because that's where most Americans get their health care. And when you look at that, if the folks who are working in those settings don't understand what palliative care is, don't understand that it can help people with a serious or chronic illness live longer, have better quality of life, and oh yes, by the way, save our health system some money, um, then if we can do that education, we are, again, advancing towards that objective of ensuring that every person who has a serious or chronic illness has access to palliative care when they need it from point of diagnosis onwards. To create the access for everybody, we need to recognize that specialists in palliative care are necessary but totally insufficient to the job of providing this kind of support for everybody across our state. So we really need to recognize that Building palliative care into the routine of clinical care provided by routine providers, provided by the clinicians that patients know, care about, and trust already is really the most important part. So we need to provide what we call primary palliative care. That means training everybody who takes care of patients, who touches patients in some way to provide some of the basics of care that's focused on high quality of life.